Argus Wade and welcome everyone to Argus Wade Market Garden with me, Mitchell Junus Wade. I know it's been a while and we've not done a video. Again, I do apologize. A lot of changes has occurred and I I am not able to do the bucket garden as before. Nonetheless, I got a little project where I have to transplant some pomegranate plant for somebody. So that's just what we're gonna do today in this video. Yes, we've got three healthy ones right now, and we're gonna transplant them in some, um, basically in a, this containers actually, because I had these big ones, but I say I will use these ones for later. So in the meantime, I'm going to use this smaller pot so that these pomegranate seedlings can be placed independently on their own. And of course, we're going to use some very healthy organically mixed soil, very light soil. So I'm hoping that this soil will be able to retain moisture pretty well so that we do not lose any of the seedlings again. Of course, thank you so very much for subscribing. Don't forget, if you want me to plant something, please leave a comment below. I'm hoping to plant some sorrel seeds again. It is so very late. We're already in September and I've not even gotten time and opportunity to plant the sorrel seed. Nonetheless, going to try planting some, hopefully produce some time in 2022, right? Thank you so very much. Let's go ahead and, you know, transplant this pomegranate seedlings for you guys to see. First thing we're going to do, we're going to lay down some newspaper. Um, you know, because we are now doing like apartment gardening. <laughs> so to reduce the dirt um, on the floor. Um, I had four um, pots in preparation for four pomegranate seedlings. But as I said, one did not make it. So we'll be using three. Um, one of the things I'm going to do, I'm going to put some newspaper at the base. That is also to reduce um, dirty water from coming out from the plant pot. So if water comes out, it will be a bit clearer even if it falls onto the tile. So it will not stain the tile. Same thing for all of them. I do apologize for the background noise. Just going to pour it out. So here, the person who gave it to me had stones, a lot of stones actually in there. I did not realize it had so much stones in there. Um, yes, yeah, so we are going to break it up. It's not a way I normally practice it, but the seeds um, were all growing, okay? Just going to place them in there so that we could have less effects on the root system of the seedlings so that it could separate nicely. Remember, if all your seeds um, grow up together and you want to separate the seedlings without damaging the root system, it's always good to put them in some water, okay? Just going to take some of that soil also and put at the base there. Okay, and then what we're going to do, some stone is in there. Take some of the other organic mix soil very light organic mix soil by the way and add it on in here in our pots okay and then we're gonna give it some water okay here we go just get it nice and moist then we choose the seedling. Get the seedling. Just have it sitting here. Add in some of that soil. Try your best to tap it down. If you can get some of the, you know, moist soil, that would be good. Go ahead and put your seedling out, guys. Then take this, okay? Put it in the water. Let it just sit in the water for a bit while you do the others. This is the biggest one. As you can see, the root system is so massive on this one. Okay, so this will be the healthiest one. As you can see, it's the tallest one. And I'm going to add some of that soil. And ensure that you do this um, in a cool day. When you're going to try that technique to remove your seedlings in this manner, ensure that it's a cool day and that the moon, of course, is going down so that the root could recover okay so next on for the other seedling okay. 
please do not put it out in the sun for about a week because the seed um, the seedling will be too sensitive to the sun um, the root system will be fragile it might die so ensure that you do not put it out into the soil as yet okay and here we have it our seedlings has been transplanted quick and easy okay all we have to do right now is to wait and to allow nature to take its course you do not want soil that is naturally heavy and compact and you do not want soil that's retaining a lot of moisture it is going to rot the root system and it's going to rot the sensitive stem of the new seedlings so, so ensure that you get light soil and soil that is able to retain moisture but not a lot of water as you can see a lot have gone through already but i'm just going to repeat that process to ensure that the soil gets a lot of moisture in there that would have to remove the air also tap it up just go ahead and tap it and get all that air out and then i suggest you put it indoors for about a week and only do that if you have very very light and very aerated soil okay if not put it in an area where it will get the heat from the sun but not the direct sunlight okay so as you can see right now the soil is basically what how clear that is can you see how clear the water is getting yep it's because the soil is a light type soil and the newspaper is helping to filter out the dirt so basically the dirt is staying back and the moisture is going through but that is fine just remember you can keep repeating that process and ensure that all the, the, the moisture takes over and that air is removed from the soil repeat again more and more you can see less water is coming out right because more and more the water is going into the soil and it's doing pretty well Okay guys, so here we have it, three pomegranate seedlings have been transplanted in the independent pots. Um, I will give you an updated video just before I hand it over to the owners. Um, but there we have it, three pomegranate seedlings. Of course, thank you so very much. Please, I do apologize for the background noise. Things are not like they were before. I am now living in a city area and it's very noisy sometimes, especially the background noise. So I do apologize. Of course, thank you so very much for, of course, subscribing to Agrosuit Backyard Garden. Please don't forget, like the video and share it. And remember, a backyard garden in some ways will keep the doctors away. And Agrosuit is out.